Hello YouTubers, how's it going? My name is APU913 and I'm with APU G GFX and Infinite Updates. And I'm here to show you a tutorial on the Modern Warfare 2 font. Now the font we're going to use today is called Bank Gothic Medium. It's a font that's used everywhere and when I say everywhere I mean everywhere. It's it's used on CBS Morning News, Nightly News, it's used on Zycam which is a cold remedy medicine it's used on yesterday last night when I went to the movies I saw it there used um, but most uh, most popular most it's most commonly used for modern warfare too um, the game so we're just gonna get started on seeing you how to make it now this is it's a quick easy tutorial so you're just gonna click file new and make your video 720 by 480 or however large you want it um, and just click OK. Next, we're going to double click the background layer, clicking OK, which unlocks it. And we're just going to make a couple new layers. I think three should be good, or four, I don't know. All right. Then we're going to cl click Shift F5, which opens up the fill pop-up box and fill it with black. That's the background layer which was originally white. Once then we're going to take the text icon and drag out a text box and write whatever we want. I was going to invite I was going to write infinite updates, but I'm just going to write APUG effects. It's a little shorter. It can really help you see what's what we're doing here. So we're just going to highlight it and change it to Bank Gothic Medium. You can just Google that, download a zip file. We're just going to save it, um, make it 72 points, and drag it in the top hand, top left hand part of the part of the canvas. Make sure it's white, too. You can go ahead and rasterize this type if you want, or you can just do it later. But what we're going to do is make a copy of that text layer and then we're going to change it to green. Now what you want is the white text layer on top and the bottom text layer being green because what we're going to do is add a blur to that bottom layer. You could have an outer glow but I like using a Gaussian blur. I was used to that and I think it looks more realistic. So yeah, any green should be fine. Try to make it a nice neon bright green because when, when you blur it, it's going to turn into a forest green. But yes, yeah, so make sure that the white layer is on top and the green layer is on bottom. You can see me mess up here as the green layer is on top, but make sure you twist that up. I try and blur the bottom layer and I realize that, whoops, it's white. So I kind of mess up right there. Um, but again, the white layer on top and the green layer on the bottom. Sorry about that little mix up. So we're going to rasterize from the blur, and we're just going to make it 10, 8 pixels, whatever. We don't want a big, big blur because we're going to multiply. We're going to duplicate the layer so we can double the effect. So yeah, so just duplicate that green blurred layer. You can just drag, it to the, drag that layer onto the new layer icon that will duplicate it. And now you can see that blur is really emphasized. It's a big green blur around APUGFX. Now this is the kind of this is kind of what we want. Um, now on the third in the new layer, a blank layer, take the rectangular marquee tool and drag out a thin, skinny rectangle. Press Shift F5 to fill with black. You can turn off the transparency. You can turn off the uh, bottom black layer so you can really see what you're doing. But yeah, once you have a skinny black rectangle on a blank layer, I want you to duplicate that layer, drag the top layer down, and then merge those two layers. Um, then basically just repeat until you have multiple skinny rectangles 
uh, on top of each other. A really nice shortcut you could do is once you merge two rectangular layers, duplicate that, which will give you four rectangles. When you Then when you merge those two layers, you'll get eight rectangles and so on and so on. That'll really save you some time because um, I don't think you guys want to make so many 15 whatever skinny rectangles. So yeah, just merge them and until you have enough rectangles to fully cover the text, you should be fine. Um, I accidentally nudged the APU GFX here, another mess up on my part, I'm sorry about this, and you can see that it doesn't turn out right because the white, it looks like the green blur is like a drop shadow when it's not supposed to be. I just kind of undo that. But yeah. Alright, now we're just gonna, yep, yeah, redo that. And now we're gonna make sure that we do not, that we, when we, that we select the black rectangles, not the APU GFX, and nudge them to the bottom. Make sure it's fully covered. And we can do a couple things from here on. We can turn the opacity down, or we can have a blending mode. I think soft light or hard light, one of those two. And you can mess around with them. Works the best. But we're just going to chain, change the opacity down for now. That'll really give the effect that we're looking for. But you can see as I scroll through, through them and see what looks good. I'm just going to keep it normal as this blending mode and turn the opacity down to 40 or 50%. I don't recall exactly, but yep, that's about it. That's basically what we're going to do today. You can also take this and make it for anything that you want. And this is the MW2 logo. Thank you. Remember to re subscribe, rate, and comment as always. My dick cost a late night fee. Yo, dick got the HIV. My dick plays on the double feature screen. Yo, dick went straight to DVD. My dick bigger than a bridge. Yo, dick look like a little kid.